Hello everybody. I'm going to do this video on how to make some different kinds of candles and that sort of thing um, for Halloween. Um, it's not too early to get started because before you know it, Halloween will be here and we don't want to be wasting all of our time doing our crafts and stuff right at the last minute. Um, some of those easy crafts are more fun to do when it comes time to Halloween. As far as I'm concerned, that way you can do things with your kids if you want to, or you can do some of that fun Halloween baking and that kind of thing. But right now is a good time to start getting some of those, um, uh, you know, more time consuming projects out of the way. So um, if uh, you're interested in that kind of thing, um, stick around and let's get started. Okay, so here I'm showing you the candle that I got from Dollar Tree. This green also, it's a kind of a spooky green. And then the little one in the uh, um, uh, pan on the stove that I'm melting, a similar color of green. And uh, these are some silicone molds that I have that I'm going to use for this project. You can get all of these on Amazon if you look them up. There's lots of molds on Amazon that you can use. And here I'm going to be using the pink that I've melted in this little uh, metal um thing that I have. I don't know what you would normally use that for, like gravy or something, but I'm putting some pink in my uh, uh, brain, and um, that's just some uh, clear, well, white wax that I'm adding to that. It'll make it a little bit lighter pink, because I have the pink in, in that brain color right now, but I used it all up for, that, for the brain. It's kind of deep. So, um, you have to scoop and push that candle wax down in that jar because if you don't, it doesn't melt because I don't have the water really high on the stove, but I don't want it to splash up into the other wax because that'll ruin the wax. And I'm going to put a little bit of glitter inside this star mold. And um, I think if I put some wax over the top of that, the glitter will stick to the wax when it hardens. I think it could be kind of a neat look. I've never tried this before, but um, we're going to try it now. So I'm pushing that candle wax down in there some more, and um, now I'm going to show you this other kind of candle. If you can't find this little um, striped cauldrony looking candle, it also looks kind of like a golf ball. Um, you can use the other one because it has feet also, but I found that if I take a uh, reusable straw that's kind of hard and dip it down into the wax um, and put my finger over the end of it, it's easier for me to control where the wax is going. Um, I really like that method and I'll probably use that from now on. It makes it a lot easier and I don't dump out as much wax all over the place. So um, I'm putting it in the fridge now, let those cool down and harden up. And here's one that I've already done, a little skull mold. Um, those little skulls came out real nice. They're kind of fragile though. I wish they were a little bit deeper, but that's okay. And I'm going to add some of those to the top of one of those candles that I put the green in and make it look like it's uh, skulls inside my cooking cauldron and here I'm adding the clear wax to or the white wax to the uh, stars and I'll add, fill them up a little bit with some other color wax because there wasn't quite enough of the uh, white wax melted for me to fill those stars up and then that way I can get it in the fridge so here we go put it in the fridge got my stove covered with a uh, um, cutting board with a little bit of wax paper on top of it so I don't get uh, wax everywhere because I tend to make a mess while I'm doing this. Here I'm putting some of those body parts uh, that I put that I made. I'm putting some of those into the cauldron and then I'm going to add a little bit of green wax around that so that it looks like the uh, so that it looks like the um, you know the uh, cauldron is bubbling up around it and everything kind of a neat look. I kind of like the way that looks. Um, let's see. And here I'm going to do it again with this other candle. I really like these. These are a whole lot of fun. And I'm going to try to take these feet and stuff out of this and it's not quite ready yet. And I break one of them. And, you know, that's what happens when you're impatient and you don't just wait for things to uh, harden up. But, you know, it is what it is. Here I'm putting some more green and I do whip some of this uh, green wax up here in a little bit because I've seen people do that. I think it's on Nature's Garden. I've seen where they've done the whipped wax before and I think it's kind of a neat look so I try that here in a little bit. Sorry I sound a little bit stuffy. I've had allergy problems for the, like, the past like two weeks on and off. It's one day I'm fine the next day I'm like stuffy. I don't know what's going on. I haven't even been outside that much. I've been trying to avoid it because I don't know what's getting me flared up but anyway 
it is what it is. So here I am putting more of the um, green into this cauldron with around the part, the stars and the body parts and that kind of thing. You know, it's time. It's a time-consuming project, and you got to be in the mood to uh, be working on it for a while once you start on it. But it is a lot of fun when it's when it's done, and you can have these and put them on your coffee table, or you know, have it part of your three-tiered tray if you're not going to light it, or if you put it on the top tray. My three-tiered tray is not the top tray on it's not as big as I would like. So, um, you know, I can't put bigger things up there because it tips over or it won't even set up there because of the knobby thing in the middle but anyway look how great these brains came out i think they look fabulous i can't wait to make a ton of them and i have lots of other ideas too that i'd like to do like can you imagine making like a fake ice cream looking thing or something and having it have brains in it and stuff for halloween that would be awesome i don't know i have all kinds of ideas to use to do with this brain and you can you can buy a big brain mold. I think uh, it's probably for Jello and that kind of thing. But um, I think I have one of my Halloween stuff downstairs, and I think I'd rather use it for a candle instead of Jello because you know I don't I don't eat Jello that often. But here I go. Pulled the wick out of there. I can reuse that another time. Those are good to save. So if you're gonna melt these candles down, just you know save those uh, wicks. Got to do everything you can here to reuse this stuff. Especially when you're practicing and stuff, you don't want to, uh, you know, waste anything. And here I'm trying to whip this up like I've seen them do on Nature's Garden. Uh, I, I actually need to wait till it cools down a little bit more because stirring it right now is doing absolutely nothing. So I move on to something else for a little bit and let it harden up. Fill this up with a little bit more uh, pink wax to make some more body parts. Can't have enough body parts. Just keep going, keep going. This is a good way to do this because I tell you, when I made it the first time, I just tried to take my wax and dump it in there. And I ended up with, uh, you know, with wax going all over the place. So this way has worked out way better. I wouldn't reuse the straw. I threw away the straw after, but... We have lots of reusable straws. I'm trying to get all that wax out of there. See, I told you it was messy. When I'm done, I have everything all covered in wax. But, you know, nothing a little razor blade won't scrape off. See, now I'm starting to stir that up. And I think I sat it in the fridge for a little bit to cool it off a little bit more. Try not to forget to put it in that I put it in there, though, or otherwise you'll just end up with hard wax again. I'm taking all these stars out. They look pretty good. I wish I would have taken my time to uh, put the glitter in the bottom of the tray a little bit more evenly because they came out looking good and stuff, but I would have liked to have had, uh, had the glitter coat the entire uh, star but you know this is a learning experience there we go I got that green cooled off a little bit now see it's looking a little bit more solid see how that's scooping on there like that it looks all goopy like like a witch's cauldron would be so I scoop it in around uh, around those body parts and stuff and you know gloop it up on the edge and just glop it in there. It looks pretty cool. And uh, I'll show you a close-up view of these uh, closer to the end of the video. I hope you guys don't mind my uh, first video trying to do a voiceover. I haven't tried this before. Um, I've been wanting to because I think sometimes it would be helpful if I could just record things and be talking to people in the background and stuff and uh, you know, instead of having everybody be quiet in the house and that kind of thing, uh, I'm hoping that this will be a game changer for me and I can get more videos done if I do it this way. We'll see. I cut one of my eyeballs that I made, cut one of them in half, that way I can put it in the cauldron and my uh, eyeballs will go further if I uh, 
if I have them cut in half. Sorry you had to see my double chin there, but you know, it is what it is. When you're looking down that hard, you're going to have a double chin. See, there's the eyeballs and the body parts in that, in that cauldron. I think that one looks pretty good. I did pink wax in there so it would look like bloody sludge on on the top of the cauldron. You gotta keep it creepy, right? Here I'm putting some green in it on top of that pink. Try making it look as gross as I can. Popping out some more brains. Those are super cool. Look at that. I love those. You could make a stack of brains too. If you just took a skewer and you uh, poked a hole right through those. Here we go. See, I put those brains inside of that jar. You'll, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm um, further along in the video. Here I've got a bunch of the... Uh, a bunch of the uh, faces and body parts that I had left over. So I went to uh, Salvation Army and picked up this this little candle. I start working right here. A um, uh, little pillar candle. And I'm going to put wax on the back of these faces. And I'm going to stick it all over the candle. And it's going to be like a candle of burning souls. <laughs> but... You know, it's a little bit harder to get those to stick than I thought it would be. I try a couple different things, but I'm pouring that candle wax on there and sticking the sticking the faces in it. I put a, put a few of the hands on there, too, and uh, I just keep working on it, try to cover it. You know, you'll see that I have some fall off here in a second, but I try just using a lighter on the back of it. I think it would look neat if the whole if the whole candle was covered so I'm trying I'm trying this with a small candle before I go and try to do it on a big candle because I'll have lots I'll have to have lots of faces to do it on a big candle but melting it with the uh, with the lighter seemed to work pretty good and here I'm going to take a little bit of black paint and water it down on my uh, my parchment paper and then I'm you know because the candle wax is like oily it like the paint separates when you put it on there and then here I'm taking a red one of the red candles from Dollar Tree and putting some of it on the top of it and scooting some of the wax over the edge so it looks like there's blood coming out of the candle also and I smear some of that black down in there and uh, I'm gonna work on that some more here later and put more black in there I want it to look charred and smoky here I'm showing you how um, that cauldron looks that we worked on earlier and I'm painting it so that it looks, you know, more like a witch cauldron. And uh, I have one here that I've already done. And I did some uh, handles, painted some handles on it and painted the feet a different color. Here's what it looks like lit up. Super cute. And this is another, the other example. And see where I painted that cauldron black. That's what it looks like after. And uh, it does look pretty much like a cauldron. If I put some... Uh, um, handles on that one too i think it'll be good this is the clear wax that i use i got that at michael's it's the the cheaper of the ones there there's one that's like 50 dollars and one's like 20 dollars. and here's my uh jar of eyeballs that i made um i think it's pretty cool and uh i'm happy with how that came out this one right here i made i made that um one with the candy corn in it I just showed you I put a glass inside of a glass and then in between the glass is where I put the clear wax and real candy corn down in there and I really like how that came out and this is a project I'm gonna do I haven't done yet I'm gonna float one of those ghosts in some clear wax um, so it looks like I've got a ghost in a jar and I can also use it as a candle and here's my jar of brains let's light it up and see what it looks like because my green came out a little darker than I wanted um, <clears throat> when I was mixing it but uh my tag on it says rotten brains so I think that color green actually works out pretty good here I'm showing you one of my eggs that my mom and dad sent me it's a goose egg and then um, a project that I made with that I carved his eyes out and his mouth out and then I put a little candle inside 
and uh, I like that that's a candle project and here's uh, another egg that I've done made it into a witch ha head and made a hat out of paper and um, so I hope you like all of the things that I've been working on and if you want to see a tutorial on how to um, make these out of the eggs um, I can I can do a tutorial on that um, if you don't have access to goose or duck eggs because they're a lot more thick than um, then your regular household egg, uh, you might not want to drill out the eyes. I used a Dremel on the eyes here, and that's how I got it to look like that. And um, this one, I didn't feel like that she would need to have her eyes illuminate, so I didn't do it. Um, maybe if I make another witch, I'll try to do that and see if I can put some, like, uh, yellow, um, like, I don't know, clear plastic behind it so that you can get like a yellow tint. Maybe I wouldn't need it though because this kind of highlights yellow, but I painted the inside of this one with a gold, like a metallic gold, so that it would reflect the light more out the holes that I cut out. So I don't know, we'll see. But if you want to, if you want a tutorial on how to do these, let me know. Um, it's not hard. It's toilet paper and paint and eggs and a little patience. It's not that big of a deal. Um, so, um, this was fun. These projects were fun. I'm going to continue to work on this and um, keep making it look a, more, a little more creepy. Maybe add a little more black to the under, you know, under there so it looks a little charred. I'm going to have to make some more heads. I have about five or six here more that I could add on here, but I think I'm probably going to need another round of them. And what I used for that is, um, uh, what to do with it? Um, I must have put it away. But there are like the peach... The peach colored candles that you can get from I don't see it here oh wait hold on I'm sorry I'm so close these little candles like this that you get from uh, Dollar Tree um, they're kind of flesh tone um, like a peachy color and you can get other colors too so if you want to just do really white or like tan they have a tan color um, it would be great to do uh, all kinds of stuff with them so the, and this mold you can get this mold on Amazon it's not exactly like this but it's very similar I've had this one for a really long time I got it at a yard sale actually but I did look to see if they have something similar on Amazon and um, uh, let's see these these um, are super easy because all you have to all you had to do was get this little candle holder and if you can't find that candle holder uh, these work and all you have to do is buy a green candle like this and um, put it in a little pan of water and melt melt the green. Just dump it on top of there. I showed you um, when I was working in the kitchen um, because once, once you burn it, uh, you're not gonna be able to tell that it's not green all the way down. The green will mix with the white candle wax that's already in here and it's gonna just turn green. Um, and uh, these candles actually have quite a bit of fragrance to them. So you don't really need to add any more fragrance um, unless you want it really strong and then you can add some of your own. But I feel like they're, they were pretty strong. And um, this project right here, um, I can show you how to do it if you're interested. This was the first one I did, so I kind of messed it up. You can see all the bubbles in there. And then there's some spots where I don't think I had my, um, my clear wax. I don't think I had it melted quite enough. So I got some air bubbles in with the separation. But I do really like how it came out. And it's real candy corn. I, I like how this looks. And, and I think I might try to make another one. Um, but you can feel the wax up here. So I don't know how, um, if dust is gonna stick to it and that kind of thing over a period of time. And I'll tell you the thing about this one right here is I really kind of wish that I would have just went out and bought um, green um, candle candle coloring uh, because I tried to make the green with, um, I got black all over my hand. I tried to make the green with yellow and blue mixture and it's really hard to tell when you have your wax in a pan and you're um, melting it. It's really hard to tell how dark you're getting it. So when I mixed it in, um, it came out a little darker than what I wanted. But one thing I found with this one that I had already done was these um, eyeballs, the red on it was really thick like it is on the top of this candle. And at, over like a week's period of time, the red kind of dissolved in in the um, in the clear, and I think it's probably because I used you know the cheap dollar store candles. And if you've made anything with that dollar store wax, um, the Dollar Tree wax, it's like got like a I don't know. It's almost like soap. You know, you you rub it like this, and you literally your fingers are like oily from it. So. 
Um, if you were going to make some of these and you wanted to last, have them last for a long time, you might want to get like a higher quality wax. I'm just learning how to do this and having a fun time with it, and um, I use the cheaper wax. But this one right here, these these were great because that's the color I used in here for these brains too, and I they came out looking really good. I can't wait to do more projects with my brain mold. And I got the brain mold and the star mold and um, the little skull mold. I got those all in one pack from Amazon. Um, one thing I will say, where is it? I got some molds over here. One thing I will say about this little um, skull mold is it's kind of strange that all of the skulls are facing the same direction. You would think that there would be two of them one way and two the other way. Then that way, if you wanted to, you could put a little bit of wax in between them and um, and make a full skull. But I think I might try to make my own mold. And what I'll do is I'll make it so that I can make I can have it be um, a full skull or a um, half skull. But they do look really cute. Um, but I just didn't realize that at the time. Another project I've worked on recently is I'm using some napkin for Halloween, making this, um, I'm gonna make myself a set of these for the bathroom, and that's really easy. If you wanna see how to do that, I can show you how to do that. Um, and I do have another project coming up, and it's gonna be super exciting. I don't wanna even, <laughs> I don't even want to, uh, I got it right here. I don't wanna give it away, but I'm so excited about it, and um, it's gonna be um, Halloween things that you can wear. Okay, I will show you a little bit, uh, a little hint. I went to Joann's and bought some of their Halloween fabric and I made this little necklace thing. I still need to go over it with some alcohol to get the, um, the glue off of the outside of it. But this is gonna match some other things that I've made and I'm gonna show you how to do it. And it's time consuming, but really easy and love it, love it, love it, love it. Everybody better watch out because I'm gonna be going crazy and if your clothes aren't tied down or your shoes aren't tied down I'm gonna get a hold of them and I'm gonna redo them and they're gonna be Halloween and maybe I'll do some Christmas ones too because Christmas is just as good but anyway I hope you like this video and um, I hope you like uh, my little cauldrons and stuff that I can add into my Halloween decorations this year and um, if you have any questions or anything let me know and please 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 give me a thumbs up because especially this time of year, I guess, um, YouTube doesn't like to recognize Halloween related um, videos as much, you know, unless you're somebody who's got like 10,000 views or whatever. And I don't know, I don't know if that'll ever happen for me. But anyway, I'm gonna keep chugging on and I have fun with it. And it's, you know, it's, it's just fun. But anyway, if, um, if you wanna see that next video, let me know. Um, if you wanna see how to make um, how to make the, um, eggs, let me know. Um, please, please respond. Please let me, I love it when I get comments and stuff and I don't very often, but I would really like it if I did. And, um, you know, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, click the bell and you'll see when I post more videos and, um, have a good night and everybody have fun and good luck finding Halloween stuff at like consignment shops and Salvation Army and and yard sales and that kind of thing. If you're really into Halloween, there's a places to look because you can find the best things. You'll find things that everybody else doesn't have and um, you can just, you know, make it your own. Make it your own. It's more, it's, I get more excited about the things that I find in the wild than the things that are in the store every year. I mean, I like to look at that stuff too, but I really like finding things um, in the wild. Anyway, have a good night.